Cindy. Where is this girl? Cindy. Where could she be? That she can't hear me calling. Has she sneaked out again? Hands up if you know, you can make it. Has it gotten to this? For you to close your ears with wire. And I will be screaming your name with no response. I'm sorry mom. I didn't hear you calling. How will you hear me? Remove those wire. And come go get vegetables for dinner. All right mom. Go to the local market. I want fresh ones. I can't go to that local market. Is better I go to the mall. I need to restock my toiletries. Hello sugar. Are you heading my way? I'm going to the mall at the junction. All right. Let me give you a lift. You are too beautiful to trick. Thank you. I'm Daniel. But my friends call me Danny. I'm Cindy. Nice to meet you Cindy. I must confess. You look beautiful. Thank you. What is the name of your spray? It smells nice. Is Pacific Beauty Wanderlust Perfume. I like it. I will follow you to the mall and pick it up. Okay if you say so. What are you buying? My toiletries and vegetables. Okay. Bills on me. Really? Thank you. Cindy. Mr. Nestor. What is the meaning of that? What are you doing with that boy? Darling. Who are you talking to? Me. No. Not at all. Who is she? One of your numerous girlfriends I guess. Honey what are you talking about? Am I not good enough for you? My precious jewel of inestimable value. You know you are the queen of my heart. Please stop thinking too far. I love you. That's all that matter. Take me out of here. Okay my queen. Thank you Danny. You are such a generous guy. Anything for you beautiful. Please can I have your number? I would like to get to know you more. Danny is single and new in town. Be my Cinderella. I'm sorry. I can't give you my number. Why not? Don't get me wrong. You are handsome. I like your dread too. Just that you are not my type. Your type? So your type is that old man that is old enough to be your father? Yes. He might look old but he means so much to me. Really? Bitch. Get down from my car. Has it gotten to that? Don't make me push you. Child of the world. If you insist. Wait let me carry my bag. Which bag? Is my money. I paid for it. And so? Fool. What nonsense. Hey bro. I'm in town. Meet me in Joe's bar. Let's chill out. We'll be with you shortly. Chris my man. Don't keep me waiting. Chris my beloved son. Mother. Good evening. Good evening my son. Please did we offend you? You have locked yourself up for a day without food. Why? Mom. You or father did not offend me. It's a personal issue. Personal issues you said? Yes. Take of your shade for a moment. Why? I see. What is her name? I don't know what you are talking about. I'm your mother. I know when a man is in love. Is written all over you. Mother a friend is waiting for me somewhere in town. I have to go. Bring her home. I would like to meet her. This woman. You can never change. I want your happiness. Son. Come here. Thank you mom. Bro I am over here. Always by the corner. Danny. Chris my man. Are you surprised to see me? It's been a while. Yes I am. Actually I have been here like twice this month. What's up? Business bro. We are expanding our services to meet customers in this city. Is it still the jewelry business? Yes man. 
But we added clothing brands this time. That's why I called you. Okay. Come join us bro. Is better than waiting for a government service job. I would have said I will think about it. But right now I need this job. To escape some unwanted thoughts. Idle mind they say is the devil's works piss. Indeed bro. What's the way forward? Let me take you to the shop to feed your eyes. Monday you can resume work. Is weekend already? Danny my man. Let's go. It seems you have some goods in the back seat. Goods? No. It belonged to one girl I picked up at Lagos Street. I was supposed to drop her at Capital Supermarket. But I got attracted to her. And decided to shoot my shot. Can you believe after paying for what she bought? This girl refuses to give me her number. I could have tolerated that. But she told me to my face, that I'm not her type. Guess what her type is? I can't guess bro. Women are mysterious. This girl, she preferred one sugar daddy that almost embarrassed himself in front of his wife, at the mall. <laughs> is not funny. That's what I'm talking about. Women are mysterious. But you should not have carried her bag. Really. Is my money. I don't waste it for nothing. I wonder what our society is becoming. These old men will not stop deceiving our girls with their money. Only the lazy ones succumb to that nonsense. If a girl is working she will not let a man old enough to be her father take advantage of her. That's true. This girl you picked up at Lagos Street. What is her name? I think Cindy. What? Cindy is her name. She is slim, tall and beautiful. Something like that. Just a regular type we see every day. Nothing special. Is that the reason she declined my proposal? Do you know her? Yes I do. What is inside the bag? Toiletries and vegetables. Vegetables. Please, take the left route, her house is close by, let's give her back the bag. At least for the mother's sake. I'm sure she sent her to buy the vegetables. Is alright bro, anything for you. Who is that? Wait I'm coming. Is me. Chris. I was not expecting you. Yes, I came to deliver this. I'm sure it belongs to you. Thank you. But how did you get it? Danny is my friend. He narrated his experience with you. The guy is a bastard. Because I refuse giving him my number. He pushed me out from his vehicle and zoom off with my bag. So is true. You are into sugar daddies. Is that what he told you? Yes, and I believe him. Well, now you know. Thank you for my bag. I had to trek to the local market to get another vegetable for my mom. Cindy. The more I try to let go, is the more I fall head over hill for you. Chris, please don't start this here. My mom could be watching. Please give me a chance. That's all I ask. Whatever that old man gives you. It still will not last forever. You will not understand Chris. Please don't cry. If you open up, I will understand. Okay, tomorrow we will talk about it. My mom requested to meet you. So tomorrow, would you come over to my place? Your mom requested to see me. What have you told her about us? Nothing really. Wouldn't you like to meet my parents? They are loving people. I'm sure you will not regret visiting. Okay. If you say so. You have to go now. Your friend is waiting. See you tomorrow. Take care, Chris. My own daughter into sugar daddies. So this is how this girl wants to repay me for all I have done for her. Cindy. Yes, mom. You called. Sit down. Let's talk. So of all the young and single men out there, you choose to give yourself to an old man. Why Cindy? After all I have done for you. Is this how you choose to repay me? I'm sorry mom. That's the world I waked up you know. Really? So if your father was to be alive? Is this what you would have told him? My stepfather you mean? 
Who told you that? Does it matter? When a mother abandons her teenage daughter at home and travels, knowing fully well that she married a sex addict, what would you expect? Cindy, what are you saying? You are looking at the monster he created. I will be in my room, Mom. So this girl was sexual abused by Christopher. And she never mentioned it to me. Christopher, you are wicked. I'm sure you are in hellfire now. Paying for your atrocities. It will not be well with your soul.